G'day guys, how's it going? In this video we're talking about sleeping mats. So when you're out camping, something that you want to sleep on. Um, in particular, well this whole video is about a particular product being an absolute game changer. And it's the Cedar Summit Ether Light XT. This is not sponsored. I bought this after doing some research. You'll, I'm going to explain how I got to this particular thing and I'm so glad I have. Um, so, but I'm going to give you a run from where I started many years ago and all the different things that I've used up until getting to this. And this, by hands down, is the best thing that I have ever slept on while camping and getting a really good night's sleep. So for those of you getting a bit old and you know, it gets a bit bloody harder you know, doing the whole camping thing, or people that struggle to find comfort while they're out there, this thing, game changer. Let's get into these uh, mats. Right, yeah, guys, so this, I've put this in order of how I've gotten to this Cedar Summit bloody ether mat, the miracle mat. Um, so I first started off with a self inflating mattress. It was fine, it did the job, I was quite happy with it. Then I came across the Halinox cot, so that's a stretcher, pretty lightweight for being a stretcher. Absolutely brilliant, cheap, expensive. Then when I was getting into doing desert sand riding, I'm thinking, man, I've got to get my weight down. So I jumped onto the Cedar Summit. Uh, I can't remember, that's an insulated blow up mattress type thing, but that new technology, um, you all know how th those things are. And this was actually a game changer because it's light, it's compact, it's absolutely comfortable the only downfall which isn't a deal breaker by any means it does have that squeaky noise so it's a bit like you're lying on cabbage leaves then i went to this climate someone mentioned to me about the climate and it not being a noisy one so i looked at it and i went oh fair enough cool i'll grab it and it wasn't noisy but it wasn't comfortable this was way more comfortable than that um, now let's say, let me, let me just double back. So this thing here, the Cedar Summit, is way more comfortable than that. It's most probably on par with this one. The difference between that, apart from the obvious, weight, compact, um, this is better at insulating so you don't get the cold coming through as much as the Halinox, because the Halinox is lifted up, and if you don't put your gear under it, you get that breeze which then the heat goes out and pisses off, basically. Um, so where are we going with that? So yeah, so I was very disappointed with that. So then I went, wow, I'll have another look. Because I just grabbed it because someone mentioned it. I didn't go researching. And that's when I started to research after getting this one. I came across the Cedar Summit Ether XT or whatever the hell it is. Um, now this, hang on, as I was going to say, this thing here, so I'm saying it's just, it's not comfortable, it's not more, this thing is way more comfortable than that, so I'd much rather have the squeaky noise than that. So this, climate, actually hang on, this is all my personal preference, just so you can see what it is. I think the the uncomfortability was these big things um, in there, so no good. Obviously, this thing, self-inflating mattress, it's fine, but it's out. Unfortunately, because I was a real avid supporter of the old Halinox cot, um, but it's now totally out because for a while there they were pretty much the same, but and because this was more lightweight than this. This, I was generally using this all the time. Um, but now I'm going, this, no more. It's gone. Um, <clears throat> so, these two things. This one is a regular size and it's a mummy tapered one. This one is the large size. So this is longer, wider than that one. And of course, as you'll see, it's way thicker. 
But the crazy, stupid thing is, this is lighter than that. Can you believe it? Can't believe And that's what I'm saying, it's a bloody game changer. So it's, I mean, pack-wise, pack I think it's a little bit bigger, but that's because it is a bigger mat. I just, crazy, absolute bloody crazy. Now, we, obviously we're gonna be paying a, a, a bit of price for it, and I will give you the price because I can't remember right. It was like 250 bucks, 270. There's the price right there. Right now, guys, I'm just gonna, just so you can see it, this is the Cedar Summit. So that's 835 grams. Now I work on the Cedar Summit, but the new one, 679 grams. Can you believe it? That is absolute crazy. Game changer. So now I have been doing a lot of uh, research in this and <laughs> so many times have I slept on this just in the lounge room. I slept on this, I felt it was uncomfortable. I had to go back to this, sleep another night on this. I've slept on this in, um, what do you call it, real world scenario. I'm not gonna tell you how I did that because I'll incriminate myself at the moment. Um, so, I definitely know that this is not bloody comfortable for me. It's comfortable. It's more comfortable than sleeping on one of the, one of these things, the self inflating. It's not more comfortable than uh, the Halinox. Definitely not more comfortable than that. And absolutely not more bloody um, comfortable than that. So I then got this, slept on this, and went. I said to Nay, I said, I can't believe it. This is just awesome. Then I have done another real world uh, test on this. Again, I can't tell you about that. Um, and it's it was the best night sleep um, while out camping um, that I've ever done. So let's check it out. Actually, guys, before we do that, I was just checking what the price of that... Um, the C to some of the new one. It was $259.90 and I'll just show you. I got it from Snowies. So that's snowies.com.au. Australians will know that um, that website. And so it's the C to Summit FR Light XT Insulated Matte Large. That's the thing that they sent through to me, my bloody invoice. So there you go. Crazy. Rightio, so I'm not going to show you all the other ones. I'm just, I don't want to stuff these around. So basically, there's another new thing that I haven't used before. They've been around for a long time, and that's the whole, with the other seat of someone, I used to just blow seven breaths on either side, and that would have it done up. It was really simple. Obviously, this one being a bigger one, it's wider, it takes a lot more breaths to do it. Um, but... It comes, so the stuff, stuff sack has that whole, bloody, you blow in there and then you squeeze all the air through. Works a treat, I think it's only, well, let's do it. So here it is, come back, open her up, that's it. The other thing I liked about this one over the climate is the climate has a little one of these things, but it's different, and I just found it really fiddly. This is simple. If you want to blow it up, you blow that there. Um, it's a, the air won't come back out, you blow in. Or when you want to release it, it just lets all the air out. I mean, it's just, it's just simple. You don't have to think about it. With the climate one, I had to think and read the little thing was deflate, inflate, blah, blah, blah. So, all we do is grab that and this, clip it in, boom, we're on. I'll spin that around. I know a lot of the guys that I've ridden with um, have these. They even say if there's a bit of a breeze, you don't even have to blow on it. But, blow like that.
fasten it up for you. Now that's most probably the, because you, you don't, same as any of these type, you don't, you don't blow them up like a bloody football. Um, you leave them so they've got a little bit, it's way more comfortable to do it. You want to kind of like sit partially in it, not bouncing off the top of it. So that was four. I most probably, uh, didn't do it. Well enough. <laughs> God, you gotta love it, don't you? Bloody thing fell off. But that's the beauty, it fell off, but no air's coming coming out. So that's it guys, that is uh, fully bloody uh, pumped up. So just push that down and hey presto you can have it full. Now if you do if you do pump it up too much and you lie on it in your tent or whatever, all you do is you pop that off and then you press this little, there's a valve in there. You can hear that. So you can take, so you can adjust this while you're on it just to take a bit of it out. Amazing. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, this is just so good. I mean, what's the next thing they're gonna come out with? I think they're kind of like, you've gotten so far that they can't go any further, but they just keep coming out with this. So, the other Cedar Summit is a different construction. Apparently, the way that it works in here, there's some kind of linking, loopy, some special whiz-bang thing that makes it uh, work differently. And I think that's also makes it quieter. Don't, don't quote me on that. Right up, let's have a look. So another thing I'm not too sure about at this stage is um, the durability of it. Obviously because it's lighter, so it's got to be, I don't know, it just, that is just so comfortable. I'm a side sleeper. So, you know, I'd have my pillow and I'd be sleeping like that. Just, it is just, it's comfortable. Can't believe it. So there you go guys, I mean I don't know how much more I can spruik on about this bloody thing. You know, pull your tab off there and let all the air go out of it. I don't run mine in the stuff sack. Guys that know me, I have a one bag system. What I do, same as what I've done with the, this other one, I just grab that there. Fold it over like that, and I just bloody roll away. And then that just gets stuffed into my big bag, as it is. Right, so, all right, so this thing, um, absolutely comfortable, you just can't beat, I can't beat this for comfortability. There's, the cold does not come through. Super comfortable, I'm a, like I said, a, a side sleeper. Um, noise, very little noise in actual fact. I think the only noise that I got, I would normally try and run a felt, I have a felt liner that I used to run on top of this to stop the cold. Um, I would run it underneath that, I've run it on top and on underneath, thinking that the bottom of the tent and this was making the squishy noise. When I did the real world one, I did not use that felt thing underneath that. So um, the only slight noise, if you want to bloody call it a noise, um, was the bottom of this on the bottom of the tent, but nothing like that. Um, cost $259, yes, it, it's expensive for some, it's not expensive for others. For me, it was, I just, I will pay that all day, every day, you know two nights in a motel and I've already paid for this. So yeah, just crazy. Crazy Mark, you're rambling bloody on. Now I've also, in the middle of doing this, um, I thought my uh, sleeping bag, I've had it for 10 years, it's still perfectly fine. I run that sleeping bag when it's cold, I put a small fleece Kmart picnic blanket type thing, I run that in there. That normally keeps me warm and if it's even colder than that, I have the little hot 
um, you know, t hand warmers and that. I'll throw one of those in there and I'm sweet. So now I'm thinking, well, most probably I think I've earned an upgrade on the sleeping bag. Done a whole heap of cert, uh, research on that. I think mine's a minus 10. The new one, oh, the new ratings are all, I think the, the, the ratings are all different. So it was very hard to compare. And when I was comparing, first comparing, I'm thinking, man, I'm gonna spend $500 to get the same as what this sleeping bag that I got, which certainly wasn't 500 bucks. Anyway, I got my head around it and I think I've got it right. I'm not gonna know until it arrives. It hasn't arrived yet, but it ended up being a Cedar Summit again. And it's actually there, it's a, it's a down, um, a down one. Oh, so it's a down, sorry, I just saw Nay walking through, <laughs> through my head. Um, anyway, it's like just over $200 for this thing. And I believe it's going to be warmer than my old one, which means that I don't have to have that blanket, blah, blah, blah. So I'll hopefully be doing a video on that in the next couple of weeks. Um, obviously I'll have to do some testing on it to, to, to work all that out. Shut up. Righto, uh, keep on riding guys, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.